Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for August 6, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 21, the song of the sword. Yesterday we heard about the sword of God, a parable, which is a teaching story about the kingdom of God. However, the people did not want to hear it because it was filled with bad news. So let's continue with this sword from Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 8. And the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also polished, sharpened for slaughter, par- polished to flash like lightning. Or shall we rejoice? You have despised the rod, my son, with everything of wood. In Hebrew, these words were written in a poetic style, like a song. The teaching point of this song is that the people of God had despised God's word and have chased after fake idols. Verse 11. So the sword is given to be polished, that it may be grasped in the hand. It is sharpened and polished to be given into the hand of the slayer. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Israel. They are delivered over to the sword with my people. Strike, therefore, upon your thigh. Basically, God is preparing Babylon to come and to bring God's people into exile and to bring destruction upon Jerusalem and the area. Verse 13, For it will not be a testing. What could it do if you despise the rod, declares the Lord God? This is not a time of testing, for they have failed the test, but it is a time for judgment. Verse 14, As for you, son of man, prophesy, Clap your hands and let the sword come down twice. Yes, three times. The sword for those to be slain. It is the sword for the great slaughter which surrounds them, that their hearts may melt and many stumble. At all their gates I have given the glittering sword. Ah, it is made like lightning. It is taken up for slaughter. Verse 16, cut sharply to the right, set yourself to the left. Wherever your face is directed, I also will clap my hands and I will satisfy my fury. I, the Lord, have spoken. Verse 16 is very interesting. And it seems that God is speaking directly to the sword, directing the sword, telling the sword what to do. Verse 17 seems to imply that God is clapping in approval and then his wrath is satisfied. So what do we do with these verses and these actions from God and how do we apply them to our lives today? Well, we need to remember that God takes sin and rebellion very seriously and God's wrath must be appeased. God does so Not upon us, however. God's wrath is appeased when Jesus dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sin. The crucifixion of Jesus is not some story, but an actual event in which our sins are atoned for. So yes, we celebrate Good Friday, the day of the crucifixion of our Lord, and we also celebrate three days later when Jesus was raised from the dead In the resurrection of Jesus, we see our own future resurrection from the dead, all because of the wrath of God being appeased. So while this may seem to us as a strange song to sing about a sword, it reminds us of the grace and forgiveness that Jesus brings to us from the cross. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 
60544. Thank you again for listening.